Okay, let's start in the men's prem. So, um, what's the standout game of the get the day to talk about here? Well, there wasn't uh, that many, to be honest with you, but uh, certainly the one uh, Peel against Russian. Uh, when uh, Peel started in this game, they were sort of uh, hoping for a good result and it certainly went their way uh, at one stage because Tom Wood uh, gave them the lead and they were looking uh, pretty good for a while. Uh, but uh, you always sense that something might come good for Russian and it did because uh, Aaron Hawley scored from uh, the penalty spot to make it 1-1. Uh, Mikey Williams got a goal. Uh, there was an own goal thrown in and Jamie Cadwallader they got one as well. Uh, reports coming in, uh, Mikey Williams had a tremendous second half uh, caused all sorts of problems for Peel to deal with. Uh, but uh, the important thing for Russian is that game, or one of the games in hand, that they've got against uh, top of the table Corinthians is out of the way and they've got the three points. So I wouldn't say there's uh, any pressure on either side because uh, there's still a lot of football to go, but they're going in the right direction and uh, today one or two players missing, so it's gone well for them. And you were looking forward to this game, uh, Air versus Laxey. Air came out on top 2-0. Yeah, when you look at the league tables um, this morning, um, Laxey were fifth, Air were sixth. Well, it's uh, changed around a little bit now because Air United, with those three points, go on 27, a move above uh, Laxey. And uh, the writing was on the wall, I think, because uh, Air United, really good side, uh, good performance by them today. Sean Kelly with both goals. Not too sure what part of the game they were scored, but the important thing is for Air United, they continue this uh, great run uh, going on because uh, even though they've lost uh, seven games, uh, they've won sort of nine, which is pretty good for a side that's being promoted and we knew this was going to maybe happen. Air were littered with uh, good players and uh, they're not doing themselves uh, any harm the way they're playing at the moment in the Premier League. So they go up to sixth. And then we have St Mary's 1, Moran 0, which would you expect St Mary's to win by a bigger margin than that? Yeah, maybe. Um, you don't know what the team uh, knew was, uh, team news, but uh, certainly Moran uh, have been going well of late and uh, the boys have done well. A uh, very young side, uh, but playing some really good football. But uh, one of the sort of evergreen, if you like, uh, footballers going, Stephen Priestnell, still scores for fun, got the important goal for today for St Mary's and got the three points for them. And we've got a fair few postponed matches. Uh, do you know when those will uh, be scheduled for? All sorts uh, happen now because uh, the ECAP FA Cup starts on the 9th of January. So if there's any teams with buys in there, they can come into the system. But they're played in sequence as they've been postponed. And if the teams are available, they'll be arranged on that date. So we'll do a bit of homework on that one. But uh, it'll be a while, I think, before you see any of them games come up. Okey then we have in JCK Division 2, Governors Athletic 4, Castletown 5. Sounds like a game and a half, this mm. one. And it was uh, Castletown have got a lot of thanks to go to one person. Alex Crawley got uh, four goals and nearly got the perfect four goals. I think it was a header. Uh, there was a free kick, uh, right, left foot, I think, involved. So, well done, Alex. Uh, Tom Moore got the other one. But for Governors Athletic, I think they were 2-0 up. Uh, Sean Dodd got one, Diego Vicente got one, Sam Liver and Nathan Pumsai got the other. Uh, dominating <coughs> will, um, win for Union Mills against Onken. They came out on top 7-2. Yeah, and it was uh, a tight game at the start, this one. And uh, Ryan Kelly got two. Uh, Jordan Crawley got a hat-trick. Um, I have to say the seventh one was a bit cheeky. He saw the goalkeeper off Why his was line, it cheeky? chipped it, and the goalkeeper's not the tallest, but he had an excellent game and um, put it over the top of him to uh, score. Carl Uren got one and Luke Booth got the other one. Um, but uh, for Onken, Aaron Raby scored a cracker left foot, uh, peach of a one to the right hand side of the goalkeeper. And Paul Whitley actually got it back to 3 2 when they were down to 10 players. So good performance by Onken, but Union Mills showed what they're capable of and showed what can happen if you go down to 10 men against them and they exploited them and mm. got the three points. Um, and then we have Ramsey Youth Centre 6, Malou nil. Stevie Gross, uh, the start today, he got a hat-trick. Jason Crane got one, uh, Harry Grant got the other and Jamie Brew. So when you look at the league table, we'll have a look at it because uh, Ramsey Youth Centre are second on 37. Mm -hmm. uh, Uni Mills are 45 now. Uh, Onken, unfortunately, stay on 32, but uh, Foxdale didn't play today on 31, but the team that benefited most today was Colby. They've uh, gone two points ahead of um, Foxdale, I think it is, into third place now. Mm. Uh, then we have Michael Nil Jim's <coughs> five. And uh, goal scorers for uh, Jim's, Barry Harding got one, Nick Clegg, Adam Johnson, Connor Dempsey, and Simon uh, Dixon got one, so good performance there by Jim's. And finally, Douglas and District nil, Colby two. Shame we haven't got the goal scorers. If you could text us through, please, 166 177. But as I say, Colby into third. Uh, Colby one, we have Russian nil, Peel one. And apparently, this was um, 
a pretty dramatic game. We <coughs> had reports of three red cards and numerous yellow cards. Yeah, two uh, name and shame, uh, two red cards for Peel players, Aaron Castain, but he scored one first before he got the red card. <laughs> so uh, he's done his Went job. Out with a bang. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Lee Hardman uh, got a red card as well. Don't know what that was for. Uh, but a Russian player uh, got uh, their march in order as well. So a busy day for the referee. It was a big game. Uh, because when you look at the league tables, Corinthians are top, uh, well clear, but uh, Peel, those uh, three points there, put them on 35. So they're only, uh, what, seven points behind Corinthians now, but have played two games more. Uh, Russian have played 14 now on 27. So you can understand a little bit of commitment in the game, but it went the wrong way. <laughs> uh, but uh, Peel also uh, won the red card uh, competition as well, 2-1. Um, good score for Douglas Old Boys. They beat Ramsey 1-0 and... Um, we did get a report saying that young Liam did an excellent job refing a very tough game. Yeah, and I apologise, Liam. I can't remember your uh, surname, but uh, he's a, a young lad that's coming through. And by all reports uh, today, he was absolutely superb. And, um, you know, it was a real tough game, evidently, to, to referee. In what way, I don't know. Uh, conditions or whether it was just commitment by players. But uh, Darren Hudson uh, got the goal for old boys, scored against one of his old clubs, actually. Um, and he scored from the penalty spot. So well done to Liam. And um, what the information was given to me was that if we've got any more young lads like this coming through, then referee's gonna, uh, refereeing's going to be in a good place. So it's good to hear. Excellent stuff. And then we have Laxey 3 Air 2. Yeah, and Rob McAuliffe uh, got one for uh, Laxey. Jess Lovett uh, got the other one. Uh, we haven't got as uh, two goal scorers and we haven't got the third goal scorer for Laxey. And then the St George's and Douglas Athletic game that was postponed, as was St George versus Douglas Royal. So moving on to Combi 2, and we have Castletown 2, Governors Athletic 3. Mike uh, Cherry got two goals for Governors Athletic. Uh, Kieran Smith got the other one. Uh, Alfie Quayle uh, got a goal for Castletown, and Aidan Sansbury uh, got the other one. And that's a really good result for uh, Governors Athletic because, uh, you know, in that combination two now, uh, they've uh, got 16 points and seventh place. Uh, that's pretty good for them and well done to the whole club to be honest with you because uh, when you look at uh, the first team as well mid-table having a good season and then we had the Onken and Union Mills game and the Maloo and Ramsey Youth Centre game those two were postponed uh, so next up is Jim Six Michael Nil yeah Ross Crawford star of the show he got a hat-trick uh, Darren uh, Christopher got two and uh, Steve Farragher uh, got the other one. Good performance by Jim's. And a good performance by Douglas and District. They managed to hold Colby to uh, four goals to five. Colby did win 5-4. But uh, Douglas and District, a couple couple of places below them in the league table. Yeah, it's good. And um, it was 1-1 at half time, so I wouldn't mind watching that in mm. the second half. Uh, eight goals, that would have been... Uh, sorry, seven goals, that would have been brilliant. But Connor Thompson with two. Uh, Andy Barr got uh, two goals. Nigel Goldsmith, it says here got a six inch thunderbolt so I think uh, it was one of them that just tapped over the Scorcher. line it doesn't matter when you're a uh, player of Nigel's uh, stature every goal counts so uh, I'm pretty certain he's happy with that one 